Hey, my wonderful people. So, I'm not sure necessarily how to make this video. And I'm trying not to be, like, really angry in it or anything like that. I'm trying not to yell. I'm trying not to be, like, all up in my emotions, to say the least. I'm trying not to. Um... <laughs> I'm sorry, it's late, and I'm making this, like, right now, so. <laughs> but I'm gonna get into this, and I'm, one of the main reasons why I wanted to make this is to let younger people out there who may come across this video one day to, don't give in to anybody pressuring you, don't give in to like somebody trying to guilt trip you into doing something for them that they want or whatever just if you know it's wrong then tell them no and if they keep insistent just keep saying no do what you can to stop talking to them if you have to block them on Facebook block them on Facebook if you've got to Tell your parents about it, tell your parents about it. If you gotta tell a friend, a cop, a teacher, whatever about it, tell them. If they're if they're bothering you, like, tell them to leave you alone. Trust me, that's the best thing you can do. But anyway, uh like I said, this just ended today because I blocked this person and I don't intend on talking to them ever again. And if I do talk to them again, it better be because they're ready to give a sincere apology. Because, again, no matter what, what they did is wrong. But there's this person I have known since I was five years old. A, a guy I went to school with. Technically went to school with. I mean... We never actually went to the same school except for the local career academy. And I'm sorry. It is really, really hard to talk about this. But yeah, we went to school together. We knew each other. We grew up together. Blah, 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 blah. And when he messaged me the other day, he was asking... If I wanted to meet up with him and hang out, like, hang out all of my older, like, people around my age and high schoolers and whatnot, y'all know what I'm talking about when I say hang out. And I told him no. And he asked why, and I said, you've got a girlfriend. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to hang out with you in that sense if you've got a girlfriend. And he said, you've done it with me before when I had a girlfriend. And I said, yeah, I know. And I hate myself every day for that. And I'll say this. I was in a rough patch. And what I, I've done things I'm not proud of. Because, again, I was in a rough patch. I should not have done the things that I've done. And I hold myself accountable for it every day. Which is why I'm working towards never doing anything like that again. And I have not done anything like that in years. I will not like hook up with anybody who I know is in a is currently in a relationship. That's just not right. And like I said, I hate myself every day that I allowed myself to stoop that low. But I am, like, working to better myself on that. But this is about him, not me. I mean, it is kind of about me, too, but you know what I mean by that. <laughs> um, but yeah, he, so he kept insisting, and I told him no. I told him my reasonings, and he said I thought we were always going to, be friends forever and I said no not when you're dating somebody it's just not right and like I said I reminded him it it just wasn't right for us to do that 
and I thought he left it at that because he realized you know I wasn't gonna break I wasn't going to give in so he blocked me on his main Facebook account and I thought well nice to see why he kept me around as a friend friend so me being me I made like a little a little post about it on Facebook an anonymous post about it on Facebook like not saying any names anything like that and then today I got a message from his fake Facebook account that I forgot he made two three years ago when he couldn't talk to me then because of his girlfriend who I didn't do anything with him when they were together trust me I she just did not like him talking to any woman so yeah but um I kind of don't blame her <laughs> but anyway he messaged me on this account and I kid you not the first message I got was do you want to hang out and I said no and he asked why and I said well one because I'm on my lunch break and two and two you know why I gave you I gave you my main reason and I then I also pointed out you know you blocked me on Facebook who blocked you on Facebook was his response and I said you did cuz your main profile is gone I know you blocked me he says no I didn't I checked I'm still blocked his Facebook is still gone but the the little uh, chat thing still has his name and everything on there so I know he didn't delete his profile I, I know he didn't delete his Facebook page anyway <laughs> I am rambling way too much about this when I'm trying to just get the point across that he was not taking no as an answer and when I said again that this goes against my morals he started guilt tripping me or trying to anyway he didn't really succeed at that he was like oh I've always been there for you and I said how have you always been there for me he said when you were clinging to me and blah 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 like I could have I could have been one of those people that would bring to you or pretend that you didn't exist or whatever but I wasn't I was always there for you like I'm not going to lie I had some serious emotional emotional issues I had some, some mental health issues that were also going untreated at the time and to have friends who understand that and try to help you that's an incredible thing to have and he was one of those people that like understood she kind of needs a little extra care and he he always considered me a friend he always like was there for me but at the same time to use that as a way of saying well you owe me because I wasn't a jerk to you in high school that's that's not how that works sorry but being a good person does not mean that people owe you but and it, it sickens me that he thinks that or that he tried to use that I don't know if that's how he genuinely thinks and feels on the matter but the fact that he just tried to use it is sick as up I just censored myself well <laughs> Yeah, you can you can see how like frustrated I am by this. I want to swear and I stopped myself. <laughs> like you can probably tell what I said, but I mean like I censored myself. That's <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really weird. I know. <laughs> Bless me. <laughs> but um yeah so bottom line if anybody tries to guilt trip you because 
they weren't a jerk to you in high school and thus you therefore owe them or anything like that get rid of them Just kick them out of your life do not talk to them they are trying to manipulate you that's it at the bottom of the line that's what he was trying to do he was trying to manipulate me into coming and hanging hanging out with him and I didn't want to so he tried to say well you in a nutshell without him actually saying these particular words you owe me that is what he was trying to come across as I was not a jerk to you in high school therefore you owe me no that is not how that works that is, will never be how that works. If somebody in your life ever tries you, tries to use something like that against you, or use that as leverage to say, well, you now owe me, no, no, you do not owe them anything whatsoever. You do not owe them anything, okay? Like, you need just cut them out of your life do not talk to them again if they continue to harass you or whatever go to somebody who who you know can help you like if you're still in school go to your parents go to a teacher go to go to a resource officer if you're an adult obviously go to the police or something just do something don't let them control you like that it's wrong, it's dangerous, and it can get, it can go bad. It can get really, really bad. And, like I said, I have been taken advantage of by people in the past. And I don't want to go down that road again. And the fact that I recognize this, I'm, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I'm honestly proud of myself that I caught that. Because I used to be so naive and I used to not see things like that as manipulation. I used to see it as, well, maybe I do owe this person. Like, if this had been two years ago, even, I would have been manipulated. I, and I caught on to this. And I'm honestly proud of myself for that, that I was able to catch on to it. And. I'm sorry, I'm trying not to get too terribly emotional, but this really, really struck a nerve with me in a way that, I, like I said, this is somebody who I've known since I was little, little, like he and I were five years old when we met for the first time. Him and my brother used to play baseball together all throughout this time. You know, we went to the same camp in in the sixth in the summer between sixth and seventh grade. Like we hung out there, we talked, we knew each other. Like it's just it it's really sad to know that this person who you grew up with has has become this. It's really sad, and it's, I don't know, I'm just, like, like I said, this guy was there for me in a way that not a lot of people would be, but he's also not the only one who was there for me like that. He wasn't the only one who understood, okay, yeah, there's, there's something a little more going on with Sarah. He wasn't the only person there, like, just to make that clear. But, yeah. Bottom line, don't break your moral code for somebody. Don't give in to their, their, you owe me because I did this for you or whatever. Don't, don't give in to the manipulation. Catch those red flags. When you see anything that remotely looks like a red flag, it just put yourself on high alert or medium alert if need be. If you're not certain, just be careful out there. Okay? That's all I'm asking. Just be careful out there. I love you guys very, very, very much. Peace out.